In the heart of London, preparations for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee celebrations are gathering apace. This week, the RAF Fanfare team are rehearsing for their role in the service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral. Rosie Layden has been to hear them play. Here in London's Cheapside, just a stone's throw from St Paul's, the Fanfare team are warming up for one of their most important public performances. The Fanfare itself is a special composition written by their musical director, Wing Commander Duncan Stubbs. It's called Jubilate, and unusually for a fanfare, it's 50 seconds long, but it's not actually the first one Wing Commander Stubbs has composed for a high-profile royal occasion. No, it isn't. I was very honoured, as we are on this one, I asked to write the fanfare for the royal wedding back in April of last year. So that was in itself a fabulous event, so that to be Westminster Abbey and St Paul's Cathedral. So, yeah, thrilled a bit. Not many people can say that. <laughs> no, I don't suppose they can. <laughs> The team are looking forward to getting into the cathedral itself and playing in the unique acoustic surroundings of St Paul's. It's always great when we play together and uh, to be able to play it in a place such as St Paul's, it's fun, you know, to be part of that team, it's amazing. Like their comrades across the forces, the trumpeters are thrilled to be taking part in such a special occasion. It feels absolutely fantastic. It is a once-in-a-lifetime occasion to be involved in and uh, to be able to celebrate the hard work and the perseverance that the Queen has shown in this way and with such incredible ceremonies and uh, events with the uh, parade at Windsor as well, uh, it's just fantastic. In less than three weeks' time, the RAF Fanfare team will sound the first musical notes of the service of Thanksgiving here at St Paul's Cathedral as the Queen makes her entrance celebrating 60 years on the throne. Rosie Layden, Forces News in London.